Our final segment is called The, the game, game is, is Rigged. rigged. Now, for the girls that write Girls Serve, it can feel like the game is rigged against them because it is, and Karen is clearly doing her part to help unrig it for them, but we thought it'd be fun to invite someone on to play a game to help them unrig it even more. You know tonight's contestant from Whose Line Is It Anyway? The Boondocks, The Internship, Raising Hope, Boston Legal, <laughs> Weeds, Malcolm in the Middle, Undercover Brother, Sheriff Callie's Wild Wild West, Doc McStuffin, Special Agent Oge, though, a bunch of other stuff, that guy from that thing, hey, he sounds familiar, and the line at Starbucks. Please welcome to the stage, give it up big time for Gary oh. Anthony Williams! <laughs> It feels going. so good. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Uh, hey, oh, 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 oh. To my defense, when they said, oh, kind of going to help white girls, and I thought, good. That is a really different organization. Well, white girls. It's been mostly white girls, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Oh, it feels good. As evidenced I by your like intro. Uh, <laughs> I just need to make sure there was one nearby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In case the shit goes down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, hi. All right, so now. Yeah, we good, we good. It's all good. You have been in literally every piece of entertainment ever made. Uh, I, I may not be using the word literally correctly, but. <laughs> literally. literally. What, what do most people recognize you from? Uh, it, depend, it depends on their age. Like if they're a certain age, it's like Malcolm in the Middle, that kind of thing. And then voice work, it's like right now, because the Boondocks just came back for a new mm -hmm. season on Monday night. So from that. Yeah, and then I do a lot of creepy stuff in my neighborhood, so I get recognized a lot. Right. Right. Just, just, just for being it. in just that like place where I shouldn't be. From the posters. <laughs> <laughs> from the flyers you're yeah, required to hand out see when you that move a in. Lot. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> You are originally from Fayetteville, oh, which yes, is uh, Atlanta adjacent. Mm, yeah. <laughs> do you have? <laughs> it's, it's south of Atlanta. Yes. Do you have any advice for the characters on The Walking Dead on how to get out of Georgia because they seem <laughs> to be stuck there? Oh, they can't. They can't get out of. They Georgia? are four seasons in, still in Georgia. You don't have to answer that. No, but, I will. I will. Uh, I will. There's a, there's a highway, the I-20. Okay. Uh, and when Harriet Tubman went through there, yes. she, there is actually a passage underneath the I-20 that the, the Negroes used for the Underground Railroad is years ago. And you suggest that, that they, zombie yeah. killers also take, take that. Take the Underground. So we've learned something. <laughs> the Underground Railroad. We've learned something here take tonight. Take the Underground Railroad out of it. Out Very of good. Um, so if, if the Braves play the Dodgers. Mm -hmm, those are baseball teams. Yes. In the NLDS. Mm -hmm. Who would you root for? I, I have I root for the Atlanta Braves. I have an 11 year old oh. son, oh. and oh. just I'm because I'm sorry, Gary, we have to ask you to leave now. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks but, for being but here and But my the sperm show. made a child that roots for the dog. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. You, can you can stay. You can stay. You can stay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <I didn't. laughs> Let's move on. According to <laughs> according to the Internet Movie Database, mm -hmm. IMDb, uh, it says you realize. Wait, is that IMDb or IMDb Pro? Um, oh. No, I cannot <laughs> afford the Pro. So just no, I don't IMDb. have the password. Okay, it's so just, the hoi polloi, the regular. It's the regular. People. It's what the the unwashed. Yeah, the regulars. Okay, we call they, them yes. the regulars at my house. The nor the normals. Uh -huh. um, it says, you realized your love for acting when a computer error in high school accidentally signed you up for a drama class and you were too lazy to get out of it. True. <laughs> Is laziness still your primary method of pursuing your destiny? It pretty, it, it pretty much is, yeah. Okay. If I can do anything within a five mile radius of my house and get paid, that's what I'm going to do. Seems like it's working out. Yeah, I'm pretty rarely well. gonna do anything where I have to drive further mm -hmm. or walk fast. Okay. So, yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. 
Uh, when you lived in Atlanta, you wrote for something called Agatha's A Taste of Mystery. Oh, oh she knows everything about me. <laughs> what does mystery taste like? Um, <laughs> it's cinnamon <-y. laughs> And a it leaves a cumin taste at the back of your mouth. And cumin. Yeah, it's cinnamon and cumin. Oh. <laughs> um, did, you, did you have a writing mentor when you were younger? Was it Agatha herself? Or? Uh, a, a, a writing mentor? Mm -hmm. My favorite, and still my favorite, is stupid, is Dr. Seuss. Like, I would, Aww. I'll sit down and read Dr. Seuss like I'm reading some great novel. I love Dr. Seuss. You I also would want to see my first grade report on Go Dog exactly. Go. I mean, it's yeah. really uh, fantastic. And, and, and here's the horrible part about me. Uh, first of all, I, I do write, and I, I, part of my living, I make writing. I, we, me and my, my writing partner, Jeannie Roshar, who's a white girl, we sold a, uh, <laughs> we recently sold a movie to Lionsgate. But let me tell you this about, oh, you don't have to clap for that. I, why not? Uh, I can clap for that. Clap for that. Honestly, I'm one of those guys when I go, you really don't have to do that. Like most guys are like that. Like it's like, that we mean it. You don't have to clap for it. Um, so if your guy ever tells you ladies, like, you know, don't worry about that. Or whatever you think, they really mean that. We're stupid. <laughs> uh, there's no ulterior motive. Uh, but I will tell you this. I don't read, a, I run a film festival, so I have to read a bunch of scripts there. Other than that, I, ju I don't yeah. read a lot because it makes me go to sleep. Mm. <laughs> I get real sleepy. Road signs, I, it, doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't even matter. I'll go to sleep. <laughs> Speaking of your film festival, uh, you are the co-founder of the wildly successful L.A. Comedy Shorts yep. Film Festival with yeah. Jeannie Rochard. Mm -hmm. Would you like to take this opportunity to plug that oh, yeah. in this evening yeah. of plugging our other I'll, I'll make it very quick. Uh, May the 15th through the 18th at the Downtown Independent Theater in Los Angeles, California. This is our sixth year. You're uh, coming. Uh, your sixth year? What did I say? <laughs> you said you're six. Oh, you guys don't do that? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Where I come from, we have a silent two. <laughs> so. It's so hard for me dealing with regular people. Like, you guys are like, oh, oh, oh. holding up all these hands. It's like silent two. In silent Fayetteville. Two. Oh, yeah. wow. What kind of math? Uh, you guys didn't use silent numbers in math? <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, our sixth year. Uh, and seriously, we are the number one uh, film festival. <laughs> in yeah, we are. May, it's May. good stuff. It really is good stuff. And what, what will people see when they go to uh, it? <laughs> all manner of short comedy films from literally all around the world. You'll see some celeb films there, too, and celebs hanging out there. But it really is about the filmmakers and getting them connected to uh, the industry. But it's really great. You've been there, haven't you? I have, mm. yes. Continue. In what manner were you there? Well, Gary, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my husband and I had a screenplay that was a finalist at the L.A. Oh, Comedy is, Film Festival. Bama. It has not been made by Lionsgate, so definitely don't clap for it. Oh. Um, <laughs> but actually, it has. The, the film that we sold was your screenplay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a machine going over there. There's about to be another silent too. <laughs> yeah, really, we, really. Seriously, we sold your script. Uh, <laughs> to, Doesn't to seem fair, but we don't care. <laughs> the same about you. Like My boy got to eat. <laughs> he, needs a, he needs Dodger dog. He needs Dodger tickets. <laughs> Taking it. I feel like it's time for us to take your money at this point, um, based on where this has so, well, gone. So he took your script, so you should you take his money. Script. So we are going to take your money. Uh, we do wish you great success with the festival you. and your career. Uh, you are going to need a win after you play the game we have planned for you because the, the game, game is rigged. I will tell you this, it's not rigged, and I'll win. Oh. No, see, no matter. One, one moment. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play The Game, the game is, is Rigged. rigged. When you answer right, go ahead and grin. Just keep in mind that you won't win. But losing should never cause you shame because you know we've rigged the game. <laughs> so you understand uh -uh. that the game you are about no, to play. No. Here's what I understand. Uh, my son said, Daddy, don't come home unless you win the game. Right. Oh, so okay. You can't come home then. I will yeah. win this game. No matter what you're going to do, you're going to lose. It's called the game is rigged. Pretty much sure I'll win. 
So knowing... <laughs> I'm a winner. I'm a winner by nature. I, I don't want you to disappoint your son. Oh, well, we'll awful. see. Knowing <laughs> that no matter what happens, you will lose, how much are you willing to wager that you will win? No, I, well, I know how much. I don't know what... what Let's be honest, I'm very loaded. I have a fat wallet. Yeah. Uh, I have carpal tunnel we from got... doing this shit. All the time. Um, I'll, I'll put a hundred dollars. Wow. Twenty real ones and eighty fake ones. <laughs> And I'll that, put 100 real American there. That I'll win, I'll win your game. That is Ooh. the going rate for white girls. So really? <laughs> I mean right, girl. Oh, okay. Um, all right. This okay. game is called okay. Undercover Sister because okay. you were in Undercover Brother, mm -hmm. and I know you are a method actor, and you probably yeah. learned all of the spy lingo for your role as Smart Brother in mm -hmm. that film. Certainly. So uh, this is a game where we are going to ask you questions where the answer is a spy lingo word or words, spy terminology, yeah. and we are throwing in some trivia about famous female spies because we are a show that's rah-rah women. Luckily, this is what I majored in. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Hopefully so. not at uh, Cal State Dominguez because we hear that that is a terrible school. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cal State Dominguez. <laughs> <laughs> and all the wonderful students who attend. Uh, so we're going to give you some questions, and you're going to tell us the word or words mm -hmm. out of the answer, and then after you've told us the answer, we'll tell you how many points you've gotten. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, number one. A female agent mm -hmm. used to seduce uh -huh. used to seduce the FBI. Oh, there's more? There's more. <laughs> it's going to take a long time. A female agent used to seduce the enemy is called a swallow. Gary. Settle down. <laughs> a male agent used for the same purpose is called this, and always quoting nevermore. A raven. That is correct. Yes, a raven. Ding! <laughs> that is worth ten, ten points. Mm. Ten points. Good job. I'm trying mm -hmm. to write with my right hand. Ooh. Okay. Silent okay. too. Okay. <laughs> Prior to becoming a culinary master, <laughs> Julia Child served as an undercover spy in Sri Lanka. No word on whether she clucked bon appetit while scattering enemy coops with this term for genuine but unimportant intel provided to establish an agent's credibility. Chicken or chicken feed. Ah. Chicken feed is correct, yes. In, in favor, we just say chicken, but. That is worth minus 10 because I am a oh. vegetarian. Oh. So oh. Uh, fair. We are fair. at minus 10. <laughs> Completely fair. Now, she made it minus 10 total, so that means it was worth minus 20. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Silent two. Yeah, That's how that two. works. Silent. All right. Here we go. We also did not go to the math girl program. We did not. <laughs> <laughs> minus. <laughs> oh, good. She said minus 20. Perfect. All right. That, I can perfect. come back. I can come back. No, it's perfect. That's how it I works. I can come back. I'll That's come how back. it works. I'll come back. Okay. Here's a bonus to help you come back. Right. <laughs> Cal State Dominguez. I'm just saying. <laughs> what underwater ah. predator? What underwater? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> What underwater predator did Julia Child help the Navy create a repellent for to keep them from triggering the underwater bombs intended for German U-boats? Mm -hmm. Dun. Yeah, dun, no, you don't you have to. Dun. Guys, I, I'm very smart. Uh, <laughs> that would be the shark, and specifically it was the blue-tipped shark. Yes, that was the blue-tipped shark. Worth 20 points. Oh. That makes it zero. That makes it zero. <laughs> We're back at zero. Number three. In World War II, okay, in World War II. Uh, this is like literally the only war I've never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead and ask it. Go ahead and ask it. Girl guides, who were the British version of the Girl Scouts, were used as secret message carriers mm. because the Boy Scouts were unmanageable. <laughs> <laughs> the people who wrote the secret messages were called this spy term, whether or not they wore the 1980s cowboy jeans of the same name. Uh, the 1980s cowboy jeans, uh, the, the, the uh, chaps. No, I'm afraid, does anyone know? Wranglers, yes. Oh, that's what cowboys wore? White people know that, Oh, Gary. white people know that. White people. I heard, I heard 
Lord and Savior Lord 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 White people in that one black dude. Uh, so that was worth 100 points. I am oh, you're at minus 100. Oh, I might no. have on, I literally might have on Wranglers. I literally might have them on right now. Wow. I, I literally might. That literally might be the most embarrassing thing <laughs> I've ever heard. I should have turned around and ripped my butt. <laughs> No, number four. Okay. Virginia Hall did not let having a partially amputated leg stop, stop her, her no mm -mm. Way. from becoming one of the lost. <laughs> I wish you would just say, Virginia Hall let a partially amputated leg stop her. <laughs> and then that was the end of that. <laughs> okay, she was Virginia. A quitter. You tried. <laughs> well, she didn't let it stop her from becoming one of the Nazis' most wanted spies. And perhaps. They could have caught the woman who limps by using this person who custom builds shoes and is a spy term for someone who creates false passports. Uh, well, a, cu a custom shoe builder, first of all, from the Spanish word zapato, mm -hmm. is a zapatero. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> but it could also be uh, <laughs> Daniel Day Lewis's other job or a yummy, yummy, yummy dessert. Made cobbler. 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 <laughs> oh, cobbler <laughs> is yes. American for zapatero. Yes, exactly. <laughs> anyway, again, the, with regulars, I don't know what language you, if you guys are just, right. y'all just talk regular talk. It did have a silent too. Uh, that was worth 100 points. So. This is for all the bananas. You're at zero. Okay. Okay. Number five, last question. Dr. Mary Edwards Walker is the only woman ever to receive the Congressional Medal of Honor. Right. M-E-W. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dr. Mew, they called her. Uh, you know why she got that name? Her cat. Right. My mother was pregnant. There was a cat that came into the room, mewed, and then her mother goes, let's name her something with the anagram. It's weird that her mother gave her her married name at that her time. Her mother knew. Yeah. A mother knows. <laughs> if I can empower any of you women out there, <laughs> a mother knows. A mother knows. <laughs> the more you know. Um, what she did was she spied for the <laughs> Union Army by yep. dressing as a man and working as a physician. Right. Okay, though she was not an evil spirit, her access to the dead and dying would have made her a perfect choice to be this ghostly term for an agent who finds names of the deceased that can be used by other agents. Okay, I'm glad you asked this. <laughs> uh, this game know. is rigged. My goodness. No, I'm glad, I am glad you asked this. Um, I don't know if any of you remember uh, Archway Hometown Cookies, the big cookie with the hometown taste. <laughs> But once, I was eating those cookies, mm -hmm. and I had a premonition. <laughs> and so I'm going to say the answer is specter. Oh, that is a good, good word, but not the one we're looking oh. for. Oh, that's no. a good one. We it were is a good looking word. for it the word. It kind of the same thing, though. But it's not the word. <laughs> the word we're looking for is ghoul. Yeah. Ghoul. So I'm sorry, oh, Gary. That was worth 300 points, oh. and oh. I can't go. I can't but you're go such home. a good contestant. That contest means then. that you did not win. Uh, you will be donating your $100, and I'm and sorry. I guess moving in with us. You should not, not feel home. too badly <laughs> because. because after all, the game was rigged. Oh. You've lost the game, you'll pay the price. But losing never felt so nice. Your reputation bears no stain because your loss is right, girls' game. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary's been a great sport. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gary. It's time to be such a good Guys, keep supporting white girls. <laughs>